Just a rainy Monday, sitting at our table. Two cups and an empty chair. You'll be gone till Sunday. Everything's unstable. I was unprepared. As the colors don't look quite the same, and the wind keeps whispering your name. If the world looks different, then it's you to blame. Yeah, I'm very prepared. Wow. I'm so much more prepared. Yeah. But the minute I see you, I'm more sure. Are you mad? Oh, 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 crazy day it was raining for the better part of the day and where hey, the rain was just doing too much i want to put this flower in the water but because i don't have a bleach which is required it's an essential when you're mixing the solution um to put uh, your flowers to feed your flowers because the bleach helps um for the stems not to rot you know so this is a solution of just water and sugar and i'll put that in for now and then tomorrow when i get bleach i'll i'll replace the water with a solution of bleach sugar and water mm -hmm. so i got the flowers they're so cute and uh, they're super affordable i got them from um, city market Today was just you know, one of those days where I had to do a lot of legwork. Is it not going to fit? Yes, it fits perfectly. Yeah. So I'll just uh, keep it in the water for today and then tomorrow I'll add the, I'll, I'll replace the water with a solution with, um, with bleach. So I was in the hospital for maybe half of the day. Yes. <sighs> I'm so tired. I just want to sleep and feel warm. I also went to I went to City Market and I also went to um Hazina Plaza, Hazina Trade Center to visit the 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 bigger the showroom, the Denry showroom in Nairobi. So I went there, I saw a, a couple of goodies. They are doing huge sales, November sales. They are doing huge November sales. And if you want a bag, a backpack a laptop bag and a duffel bag just go to them they will just sort you they have the best and it's unisex you can get it for your man your man can get it for you you can get it for your dad you can get it for your mom you can get it for your brother for your sister everyone gets a bag you know and it's almost half the the regular price so you better jump on the sale you can go to hazina plaza i'll just leave the address here and then you'll go check them out and get the the products that you need i highly recommend the backpacks and the duffel bags and the travel bags they are the best in kenya sincerely i did that and i also went to city market to get my flowers and then i went to the hospital and spent the day the rest of my day there i got home i think at 10 or 10 30 and it was pouring raining <laughs> yeah so i just want to get warm because i had a lot of leg work today like i was just walking around i was just on my feet for the better part of the day so i just want to rest and then i'll catch you tomorrow I'm just weak Cause I'm in 
It's raining cats and dogs and I'm going to visit my sister. I hope you can hear me because I'm on the side of the road and I'm just walking. Kama sa dinyi niko kwa video call. Oh my god, we've not seen the sun in Nairobi today. I've been praying, I've been hoping and praying for my sister and she had an alikuwa me undergo a bit of tests. And we are just hoping and praying that it's not anything alarming. And thank God it's not. <sighs> I can breathe again. The past two days, it may quite hectic because you know, you're in the dark and you don't know what's going on. And this is someone who's been in good health all her life. So when something happens, you're just like, oh my God, I hope it's not anything that we can't handle. And thank God. That's the case and we I'm really really happy. I'm extremely happy. I don't say Nikenda Kumona. I'm so so happy that that it's nothing serious because where good health is everything nowadays, you know? And then this is someone who I can tell you a dog and sometimes something happens and just and you see things online where something happens and the trajectory of someone's life changes completely and you might think it won't happen to you until it happens to you you know and i'm sure those people they were leading a very normal simple life and they were thinking oh just a normal good old day <laughs> you know and all of a sudden something happens and everything changes in a span of minutes and when whatever happened happened I had to just sit back and evaluate life and just pray and just go through everything that has ever happened and be like, you know what? God, give us everything, but do not give us anything that we can't handle. And I feel like God answered our prayers. And my sister is fine. That's all to say, my sister is fine. And we just need to take care of her a little bit more and love on her a little bit more, you know? Yeah, so let me go check on her and then I'll see you. I'll see you later because I'm so happy. I tell everybody in the other, I'm so fucking happy. This one, that one, wanna talk about it. They try to understand how you got me. But nobody needs to know Nobody needs to know yeah. Looking real attractive So they asking about me Baby. Trying to get a little closer And get a sense about it But nobody needs to know like crazy I just got back from from the hospital to check on my sister you know I've been in and out of the hospital the past few the past few days she has not been feeling well and and we've been holding our breaths for the lab results 
and i'm so glad she's fine i'm so glad i'm so glad guy we are feel quite naomba i'm so glad she's okay you know so i got milk and then i got um yenbu chargers you know me i'm a yenbu girl i still have the fur but that's what i use for my last round of shower because now it smells nice it feels so silky on my skin but this one is so affordable and it also smells amazing so the fragrance is not long lasting and it's also super moisturizing and i just use it for my first round of washing you know like me wagamarambili so i wash rinse off wash again so for my first wash i use yenbu and then i can also use it for my second wash really because it's super moisturizing but i have fur which is a little bit stronger and it smells more pot the smell is more potent so that's why i use it more for my last wash but this this one let me put you on it's so mild even my 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 kitty cat is very sensitive when it comes to the soaps i use and i've noticed that um even if i get this around that area because let me tell you nikifanya tu makosa any other soap if you get to anywhere remotely close to that area will have problems but this i've not had problems with it and that's why i'm sticking with it plus it doesn't hurt that you get to save coins these are some of the clothes i've been wearing at my sister's house this is a um, chips masala i'm going to have that for dinner and i got a book oh my god i've not even read it i got a cookbook so pretty um this is my second cookbook i really really like just uh, reading cookbooks reading um different types of food from different parts of the of the continent and just understanding what other people uh, what other people enjoy i feel like i started being curious about food and other palates when i met nigerians because let me tell you akuna venye in nigeria and as enjoy kenyan food the only food they kind of sort of enjoy is nyamachoma and pilau the rest i just feel like maybe it's too mild for their palate their palate is very different and that's why when i tasted nigerian food i'm like i've never tasted anything like this before they say that when they eat kenyan food they feel like they're eating baby food so that's why i really really like um exploring on other types of foods around the continent and what other people enjoy you know i don't have to cook everything but i get to understand what other people enjoy even things that i've never even seen before you know and it doesn't hurt that this one is so pretty it's so cute so pretty so I have this. I also have another one for for salads. Uh, so I really really love salads and I make salads a lot. I feel like just having cookbooks to be able to bounce off of is very very nice and being able to just have tangible representation of what other people enjoy. What when you jai yona what when you you didn't even know you can make food like that. I think it's really really interesting it's super super interesting and i love it i've been lazing around in my sister's room <laughs> at the hospital and then yesterday i went out so i feel sort of tired and i've just been lazing around there i'm so happy my sister is okay i'm so happy i'm so happy i didn't know like uh, burnout can cause like physical sickness like that can manifest as physical sickness like that and wow wow my lips are so dry yes. like you're sick you're going to the hospital you're getting admitted because like you're tired you know and we have some of those i know all of us we have one of um to konam to come away in our family they just prioritize everyone and just take care of everyone but themselves and um i'm so happy i've never been happier for someone to get sick because now she knows that she needs 
to slow down. I think it's so it's it was important for her body to just remind her, excuse me, <laughs> I've been carrying you all this time. It's time for you to also give back to me. Listen, when we're waiting for those lab results, hey, eh, I made the biggest mistake of going to Google. <laughs> I almost lost my mind. I almost lost my mind. But I'm so glad she's okay. I'm going to have chips masala and I'm going to make a hot cocoa because it's super cold. Ngozangu zimekuwa nje tangu sijui Monday. It keeps on raining. By the time I come back in the evening, zimenyeshewa. And then also I've not been around much. Cooper, come say hi. I know you've missed me. Come. Come, come, Baba. Si kuje, kuja. Why? Come, come, come. I missed you. Did you miss me? <laughs> You're so big. Why are you so big? Why are you so big? You're a big boy. You're a big boy. It's been raining a lot. So Cooper has not been going outside because eh siezi mwacha ende kwa kwa baridi no aende kwa matope alafu arudi kwa nyumba so he's not been going outside he's not been going outside big boy aki kupa is so big now <laughs> kupa nini leo unakula mayai tu mayai ndio nafanya unone hivi big boy kupa you're so cute. You're so handsome. Is it cause I'm there? Is it cause it's me? Is it the time, the space, the air, the energy? Strap 
Nigerian fried rice and I'm following um, a recipe by Kiki Foodies. Uh, I'm going to need a scotch bonnet that I'm not chopped. I need to chop this on the side because I don't want um, I don't want the spiciness to enter my eyes. Red bell pepper, carrot, French beans, spring onions, sweet corn, chopped liver and yeast and rice. I already cooked the rice um, earlier. It's already cold. It's already very cold when you use warm rice it's going to like mash and then it's called gali ugali so these are all the ingredients i have i'm following the instructions as much as possible and that's my forte i really know how to follow instructions and i hope it, this will turn out really really well
My fried rice is here. I know I've already tasted, <laughs> but I can taste it with you again because it's so damn good. I can't believe this is my first time and I did really, really well. See, this one is begging for fried rice. It's that good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wow this is so good i've had fried rice from several stores here in kenya but let me tell you this one is better than all of them i wish i had shrimp nigga add shrimp to another level again i think the secret is in using fresh vegetables and chopping them really really small small do it with like bite size na ichanganyane na your rice vizuri and then also the secret is in uh, how you boil your rice i boil my rice i think you can see it's kind of yellow i boiled my rice with a uh, chicken stock and i think that makes the whole difference it's really really good another secret is do not use fresh rice like boil the rice and then leave it for like overnight and then use it the next day you can keep it in the fridge and then use it the next day whether you're trying to make a uh, chinese fried rice or kenyan fried rice or nigerian fried rice you must use rice in your milala don't use fresh rice it according to gali gali like everything will just mix and become like mashed so i'm so proud of myself i'm so proud of myself one thing about me i know how to follow instructions like eh na joke follow instructions as long as everything is so clear i can do it and this proves it this is my favorite nigerian dish aside from jollof i first liked fried rice before i started liking jollof just because jollof is very spicy so fried rice is a little bit less spicy the other ingredients that shines through is the fresh scotch bonnet and you you must cut it i i i think you saw how fine the how fine i cut it are you okay are you okay you're fine i should give you a bath tomorrow it's been cold when i'm chafu by the way i should just give him a bath tomorrow i'm going to have this and enjoy something maybe watch a vlog i've been enjoying a lot of like south african vlogs and all that and also cooking vlogs and just relaxed chill vlogs and that's what i'm looking for seriously because i've had one hectic week it's a new week again i wish you all the best if you've not subscribed please subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends and family i know maybe i wasn't able to do so much in this video it's because i was stuck in the hospital with my sister and when duty calls duty calls you know that's my priority that's my family i cannot do anything before them because i know they would do they will do the same thing for me uh, but i'm glad she's fine i'm so happy that she's okay and i'll see you guys on the next video i love you guys so much and i appreciate you between now and then please take care of yourselves prioritize yourself even if um 
you're going through so much you can find joy and peace in your pain so just write it out face it with gratitude and you will see your mood will change so much and i am telling you there is no better time to enjoy life other than now you cannot postpone enjoyment you cannot postpone peace you can you cannot postpone joy no matter what you're going through right now you can go through it in joy and in peace happiness and joy they are two different things you can have happiness but you cannot have sadness at the same time but you can have joy and have struggling moments at the same time and joy is just the peace you get no matter what you go through in life and it comes from within when you work on yourself so hard so hard <laughs> when you work on yourself so hard so many things are just going to bounce off of you like they're not going to enter and penetrate and affect your soul so just work on your mind work on your soul find something to be happy about find something to be grateful for find something to have joy for find something that pours into you and hold on to that do not please please take care of yourselves yani mate na jam domo when i think about this food so let me just go eat and i'll see you on the next one i love you guys so much and i appreciate you for always riding with me kupa why are you eating my socks why why? What's your problem? <laughs>